So we've got another big Star Wars Battlefront 2 video for you guys, thanks to the famous leaker, some info, who is back at it again, spilling the beans on Star Wars Battlefront 2, including a lot of details on Geonosis, on General Grievous, and even uh, details beyond Geonosis and the Clone Wars DLC we already know about, uh, such as upcoming maps, and then also uh, teases on possible new heroes. And I'll give you a hint, they're female heroes according to what uh, some info is saying. Now, keep in mind, we're reporting on uh, what some info is saying here because he has proven himself very reputable in the past. Uh, he accurately predicted the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta details. He also accurately predicted uh, the details on what we could expect at EA Play, including Assault on Theed. So again, some info has been very reputable in the past, but with that in mind, remember, none of this information has been confirmed by EA. So keep that in mind moving forward. But I really want to shout out and thank our fan on our Discord, Obi Gom, who pointed all of these details out to us. So thank you, Obi Gom, for pointing this out to us. And if you guys want to join our Discord and talk to us directly on Discord, Make sure you join it at discord.gg slash Star Wars HQ. I really hope to see you guys out there. We have a blast talking about Star Wars Battlefront 2, joking around with all of the new emojis out there on the Discord. We just have a lot of fun. And then also, I'm going to be organizing some community live streams with you guys. So we do daily live streams as well. And that's a really good way to communicate with us and find out when we're going live. So that way you can join up in our live stream and actually play with us live in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So again, I hope to see you guys out there, but uh, hit that like button, guys, and don't forget to subscribe if you're excited for all of this Clone Wars DLC that's coming up. And we're going to go ahead and jump into what some info had to say out on Reddit, starting off with this post about General Grievous's abilities. So some info has gone into great detail on what each ability is for General Grievous, starting with the Thrust Surge, uh, which is described as lunging forward, stabbing his enemies as he pins them down. And then there's Unrelenting Advance, where he ignites four lightsabers, deflecting attacks and inflicting damage on anyone foolish enough to challenge him. And then finally, there's Claw Rush, where it says, adopting a four-limbed stance, Grievous scrambles forward, damaging his enemies as he drives them back. So that's some really cool details. And uh, I'm really excited to see him whip out his four lightsabers like that. And I cannot wait to see these abilities in action. Now, uh, moving on, a user by the name of Fake Mophead asked, does Grievous use four lightsabers outside of his abilities in his basic attacks? Can he deflect like other heroes? And does he have a health on kill card? Now, some info responded and said, nope, four lightsabers only during animations from what I've heard so far. So that means only during his uh, special abilities. And then with deflecting, he will use two sabers and they are held in the X position. So apparently he can block uh, blaster fire normally. Now, that's pretty cool details. Now, keep in mind, uh, with the four lightsabers being attached to abilities, I think that's going to be a very good thing for General Grievous because if he could just whip out all four lightsabers at any time, guys, he would be way too OP. So how do you feel about this? Do you think it's a good thing that Grievous will have his four lightsabers attached to a couple of his abilities? Or would you rather prefer the four lightsabers to be kind of included in his standard attack animations. Let me know in the comments down below. If we back up there, we can see the Unrelenting Advance and Claw Rush both will use four lightsabers according to what some info had to say. Now, let's move on to the next topic here. Uh, Kyle asked out on Reddit, any new skins for other heroes except Luke? Some info gave some details about General Grievous and said, a damaged appearance for Grievous besides the default ones, and one more for Obi. And then Kelsig asked, I thought it was a caped Grievous, or is there three total planned appearances? 
Now, some info responded and said, oh, no, oh, no, Cape Grievous, but it might come later. Now, again, that might be outdated because I know that some info, he's kind of out of the loop. But I, I personally was really hoping to see a Cape Grievous right when, he, right when he launches this October. So we'll see what happens. But uh, what skins do you want to see for Grievous? Let me know in the comments below. Now, moving on, Happy Troll asked on a separate thread, you said you could say what Kenobi skins were if I asked in a few days. Now, some info responded said default plus cape skin. Now, I believe he's meaning Jedi robe there. I, I don't think it would be a cape for Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I think he's meaning a robed skin for Obi-Wan Kenobi. But uh, I would really want to see this because it would be really cool to see Obi-Wan wearing his robe. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know. Now, moving on, uh, let's see what Kyle had to ask here. He said, hey, do you know how many more heroes we will see after Anakin and Dooku? At least can you predict it? Thank you for all the leaks. And then some info responded and said, two more for sure and, and probably at least. I'm not sure exactly what I meant there, but uh, General Grievous responded and said, Ahsoka and Ventress probably. And some info said, yes, probably smiley face. So uh, some info has really been teasing that, you know, it looks like Ahsoka and Ventress will be the next heroes beyond what we already know so far. And I really hope this is the case because Ahsoka and Ventress, they're some of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars TV series. And how cool would it be to see Ahsoka on the battlefront? Hit that like button if you agree with that statement, guys. And uh, it would be really cool to see these characters come to light in the game. Now, uh, this is a really interesting comment on our Discord. Canadian Bacon said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going through all of the Bosk voice lines on YouTube and I found a line where Bosk says to Yoda, do you know a woman named Ventress? That can't be a coincidence. So he gave a link to this and I actually found the voice line where Bosk mentions Ventress in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So here it is. Did you know a woman named Ventress? So there is that voice line, guys. And, uh, you know, that was in the game since the beginning, from what I understand. And that's some very interesting stuff there. Like Canadian Bacon says, that can't be a coincidence. What do you guys make of this? Let me know in the comments there. But uh, I've never heard that voice line before, but it is apparently in the game. And again, thanks to Canadian Bacon for pointing that out. I really hope Ventress comes to the game. Now, moving on here, uh, Happy Troll also asked, is Geonosis one single map? Dennis said Geonosis would contain multiple levels, but it's unclear if he means galactic assault phases or actual separate maps. Now, some info responded, and said, from what I was told, one single map, which will be split for Blast or other smaller game modes. And then General Grievous followed up and said, will there be an arena? And some info says it has to. So according to some info, we should be getting different versions of, or more modes uh, dedicated to Geonosis, including Galactic Assault, of course, Blast, probably a heroes versus villains map in the arena. How cool would that be? I would love to see this, guys. Uh, but yeah, what other map variants would you want to see inside of Geonosis? Let me know in the comments. And then also, I can't forget, I would love to see a hunt mode, like a Geonosian hunt mode as well. Now, uh, Mortal Soldier said, any chance we get a replacement for the Wookiees or any other new reinforcements for that matter? Or... Will we seriously see Wookiees on Geonosis? This has been a hot topic in the Battlefront 2 community. And some info said, so far I can say they are in there, but they could easily be, they could easily switch the button and remove them anytime they want to. So if the guys will complain much, they will make changes. So, you know, hopefully uh, DICE has something built in there where they can switch off the Wookiees. I really want to see a new reinforcement, of course. Uh, I know that many people feel seeing Wookiees on Geonosis would be really odd. You know, I would have to kind of agree with that, of course, so I would like to see a new reinforcement introduced. Um, I think it'd be cool to see Commandos or something like that on Geonosis. What do you guys think? What 
new reinforcement would you like to see for the Republic side? Now, let's move on to this comment uh, on Reddit. Uh, this was posted by Last Limit of Indoor. said, every hero possibly getting a health on kill card. And then some info said, every hero will have his own health card. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the front page anymore. I'm not sure exactly what that last comment meant. But uh, according to some info, every hero will get their own health card. Now, a lot of uh, people are kind of split on this. They feel like if every hero is going to get their own health card, then that means everyone's going to be forced to use those health cards. So why not just like make a passive health type of bonus you know, on killing enemies for all heroes instead of forcing people to use a card? Uh, what do you guys make of this? Do you think it's a good idea to have health on kill cards for every hero? Or do you think they should go more with like something overall? for all of the heroes because again it would kind of force people to use that card no matter what so we'll see what happens but uh this one was posted by super jedi player and they asked could you confirm if any maps are being planned except geonosis and if so any hints not asking if they're 100 percent going to come just if anything is planned that includes new maps and ported maps or even maps ported from one mode to another one like Strike Camino for Blast. Now, uh, some info said, no new maps, but likely to see ported maps. And, uh, you know, honestly, I'm disappointed in that, if that's true. You know, like you guys, I want to see Coruscant. I really want to see uh, Utapau. I want to see Mustafar. I want to see all of these really cool uh, planets that we have yet to explore in the new Battlefront 2. So we'll see what happens. Now, uh, concerning ported maps, I would really want to see Rogue One maps from the original Battlefront 2015 uh, come, or from, you know, the first Battlefront come into Star Wars Battlefront 2. You know, revisiting Scarif would be really cool, and then maybe they could bring back Jen Erso and Director Krennic as a part of, like, a, a uh, Rogue One uh, DLC pack to revisit the uh, Rogue One DLC. But uh, regardless, I want to see more content. I want to see more Clone Wars stuff. So regardless, I really want to see this stuff. Now, Kamino, the outside areas of Camino on blast would be really cool this is something i've requested for a while now so if they do that that would be awesome now uh carlo wren asked one thing i've been curious about for a long time is do you know why they haven't made even simple trooper skin variations for the empire some info responded said have no idea what was behind that but i hope they will port them in the future along with other old material so i really hope to see this as well because you know going back and playing the original battlefront one that dice created you know there's a lot of imperial skins in there that could be easily poured over to the new battlefront 2. i really want to see the shore trooper come back um so let me know what what imperial skins do you guys want to see come to battlefront 2. now i think we're coming up to the end of the comments here so uh, Fornells29 said, Hey buddy, I asked you about Luke skins a couple days ago, and you told me they have some skins for Luke already. I did appreciate your honest answer. Could you please tell me more or less which ones are they? Without going into specifics, if you want, Old Luke and Farm Boy, Farm, Farm Boy Luke perhaps? Just a sneak peek, please. And then some info said, They have planned some skins for Luke, but nothing that I could reveal at this moment so take that with a grain of salt of course we're not sure if that's going to happen yet or not uh you know with his response there it's kind of like you know we'll see what will happen but uh it'd be really cool to see some more luke skywalker skins because he was the most requested hero for new skins when they did that poll when that uh reddit user did that poll uh, a while back luke skywalker was definitely one of the uh, heroes that people wanted to see skins for the most now, on to this comment, Stannis Spock said, Hey, do you know what new weapons will be coming? I'm hoping for the DC-15 single-fire variation for the Republic Assault class because the Heavy has its brother, the DC-15 automatic fire variation. Some info said they have a few weapons, but undecided which and how, etc. Now, I really want to see the EE-3 come back. I know that the Bosk... I mean, not Bosk. I know that Boba Fett uses the EE-3, and I really want to see the EE-3 come back into the regular class system because I absolutely love that weapon. 
in the original Battlefront. So what weapon do you guys want to see come to Battlefront 2? So again, thanks to Obigom for pointing this out on Discord. I definitely appreciate it, guys. There's all of the info from some info. There's tons of stuff uh, that some info posted out there on Reddit. So thanks to him for posting it out. And again, it's not officially confirmed by EA, but once all of this stuff, uh, or if it does get confirmed by EA, I'll let you guys know. And then once we find out about where Roadmap version 3 is, I'll also let you guys know about that as well. I know we're all wondering, when will we get to see Roadmap version 3? But uh, I'll let you guys know. But be sure to subscribe, hit that like button for more news on Star Wars Battlefront 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and may the Force be with you, always.